Hobbylink.tv. Hey, I'm Robin. And I'm Arda. And this week we got some cool stuff to show you, as yeah. usual. I have the Metal Gear Solid Play Art Sky Cyborg Ninja. Woo! Woohoo! What do you got? I have Aegis from Persona 3. She's by Alter. We're going to be having a look at these. Wow, open her up. Open her up. Okay. Okay, then, what I've got to look at this week is the figure of Aegis. From Persona 3. This is from Alter. We're checking out the box here. Nice 1 6 scale figure. So it's pretty sizable. As you can see, this is a pretty, pretty good sized box. If you're going to be displaying her in the box, it will be taking up a little bit of room on your shelf. Kind of turn it around a little bit now. Got a nice full shot of the figure itself on the side of the box. And then I'm going to turn it around and we're going to look at the back. Now, I want you to pay close attention to this image on the back because, like quite a few figures, this figure is actually sculpted after a piece of artwork. And this figure is, in fact, sculpted after this artwork. And I think you're going to be amazed at how closely the figure matches the artwork. And here's Aegis out of the packaging. Now, there's one thing i got to tell you right off the bat. Uh, when you work here, sometimes you might get a little bit jaded because you see so many photographs of so many amazing new figures that are coming out. And sometimes you kind of go, Ugh, oh God, more new stuff coming out. And sometimes I'll see a picture of something in advance of its release and go, yeah, that looks nice. And it won't particularly impress me. I'll just think, yeah, that looks nice. It's not for me, but that looks nice. And then when I see it in person, I go, oh, wow. And that's what happened with this figure. Now. As I said, she's based on an illustration, and we saw the illustration on the box. That box was done, uh, that illustration was done by Shigenori Soejima, and it's actually the illustration that was on the front cover of his book, um, Artworks, 2004 to 2010. Now, that picture, that image, looked like it was done in watercolors. It may not actually have been in water, done in watercolors. It may have been done on a computer, mm -hmm. but like many watercolor illustrations, it has a, a sense of transparency to it. There's a real transparency to the, the colors of her face and her hair. And uh, the neat thing is this figure has actually kind of captured that. Um, they did a really altered it, a fantastic job with the paint job here. Maybe I'm going to go ahead and turn her around a little bit so that we can see the nice paint job on her hair. It kind of does a great job of getting across the, the transparency and the feeling of almost light coming through from mm -hmm. underneath that you see in the illustration. And uh, also, just look at, look at the amazing, look at the detail in the, the structure of her shoulder there. I mean, there's all this cabling and riveting going on in there. Yeah, it's neat. It's like from the front, it looks like, you know, a human shoulder assembly, but from the back where you can see yeah. through the... This, all the structure you know, metal and stuff. Part. Yeah, it's... And uh, wow. I think we were all admiring earlier the work that the sculptor did on the fabric of her bodysuit. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and continue to rotate her a little bit. We're going to look at the back for a moment so that we can see uh, the sculpture work on the back here that might be a little hard to see, but I'm hoping it won't be. Um, you can see the, the way the fabric is kind of wrinkling and it's kind of uh, draping a little bit around her form. And you would look at it and go, oh, that's a human person under there. But then again, you'd be looking at her hips and going, wow. That's amazing. That's, that's no human being under there. And she's, and another thing that's cool about this figure is, look at her feet. Her feet are so cool. She doesn't really even have feet. I mean, she's got like pegs. Yeah, it's like the one is opening up. Yeah, this one I think is deploying so that she can land a little more yeah. easily. And you can see like the, the rods and all. Yeah, there's the, cabling would, and yeah, that would... assembly and stuff in there. Machine stuff. Yeah, machiney stuff. Machiney yeah, stuff. The technical yeah, term. The techno very technical term. So yeah, this figure's just impressed the heck out of me. I'm going to turn her around a little bit more. We're going to have a look at uh, 
I'd like that's neat the way she attaches into the base too. It's yeah. just a peg that comes out mm -hmm. and then it attaches. Yep. You know, yep. Midway down the down the shin. Yeah, they're they're doing a lot of neat work with the uh, bases these days. She's almost. I mean, she's coming down for a landing, and this is. It definitely looks like yeah, that's exactly what she's doing. She's held real sturdy on there too. And look at her upraised leg here. You can see that there's a rip in the fabric. That is really neat. I don't know if you'd call that a stocking or if that's just the fabric that happens to be covering her robot structure. But I mean, this is tattered here, and then there's a little hole to the side, and it's yep. just, it looks so natural. Absolutely. It's just like it's ripped and... Absolutely. Wow. And there's just one more thing I'd like to point out. Look at the scarf that we have going on around her neck here. Look at how, how beautifully that's fluttering. Look and it's actually, that. from the back, you can see it's actually tucked under her collar. Yeah. We're going to turn that around so that you can see that. It's like it's a tie, and it has just yeah. kind of come untied, but it's still tucked under her collar. I'm going to tip her a little bit so that we can maybe see that a little bit better. How cool is that? That is really impressive. That is just amazing. So this figure just kind of blew me out of the water. I went, oh, my God, that is so cool. I mean, it's, it's kind of... it's. It's not too flashy. It's not the flashiest, loudest figure ever done. But it's really well done. It's really beautiful. It does a fantastic job of you know, bringing that illustration into three-dimensional life. And if you're a fan of Persona 3 or this character, even if you aren't, this would be a fantastic figure that you should add to your collection. And now, just in time for the 25th anniversary of Metal Gear, here is Cyborg Ninja from the Play Arts Kai series. He's from Metal Gear Solid. And let's take a look at the box. Now this is from the Play Arts Kai line mm -hmm. and uh, from Square Enix. And this seems a little bit bigger than the regular Play Arts line. Right. right? The Play Arts Kai is kind of like a version 2.0 of Play Arts. Mm -hmm. They're a little bit bigger. They've got more articulation. Um, the joints are, I think they worked on making the joints a little better concealed so that maybe the joints aren't quite so obvious. Um, and uh, they, the Play Arts Kai figures also tend to come with like more accessories than the Play Arts figures did. Yeah, I see where he's got the sword and uh, he's got an extra fist in there. I'll have to get him out of here to see what all goodies are, are in the box. Cyborg Ninja's got a big gun! Uh-oh. Woohoo! Here's this fine gun that attaches onto his arm. It doesn't come attached, though. He comes mm -hmm. with his hand attached. Mm -hmm. This is the hand that he has attached. Mm -hmm. And it just pulls off of there. And then he has a second gun along with his blade. And that just... Oof. Yeah, sometimes it's not as easy as it looks. Oh, it's easy. I'm just, I'm just at that awkward stage. Here he is. Wow. And he goes... He can hide it. <laughs> so he can sneak up on you where he's hiding his sword behind it. Good job, Cyborg Ninja. Yeah, no one will ever suspect. One thing I really liked about this figure that you, you didn't get a sense of when you saw the preliminary stuff was um, he's got all these little warning labels all over the him. The warning labels are great. The warning labels are amazing. Well, you know, he's a, he's a he's cyborg. He's a cyborg. So naturally, he would have to come with some warning labels. Yeah, where it's like... <laughs> <laughs> He's like, use designated tool to remove fastener. That's what it says on all these little plates. Use de designated tool to remove fastener. So like, I guess if he gets a boo-boo, you have to remove the, the plate to get to yes, where you need to put the band-aid or whatnot. you must use the designated tool. See, there's one, <laughs> this is right on his crotch. Oh, on his dear. cod piece, on shall we say. On his cod piece, yes. Use designated tool, so to speak, to remove fastener. There's, what does it say? Something different on the back of his head there? It does. It says, caution, ensure lock is tight. I hate it when my lock is too tight. I get a migraine if that happens. Well, there's happens. one down his spine that says, check trans connection before systems power on. And you know the or person... else you'll get a big surprise. <laughs> the person... Here he comes with a big surprise. He takes out his... See, you can bend him to take out his sword. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, Cyborg Ninja fooled us again. Yeah, again. Again. He's so sneaky. He's pretty cool for a fact. He is. Now, I must admit, I don't know anything mm -hmm. about Metal Gear Solid, mm -hmm. but he's a very cool design. He's cool. He's also very, very muscly. Yeah, he's pretty beefy for a fact. His head is turnable. 
and uh, he's articulated like crazy. Yeah, that's, and this, yeah. And the elbow slides nicely so that, you know, however you move the arm, the elbow can come down into position. Mm -hmm. Wow. He's got a nice range of motion with the elbows. Oh, yeah, I mean, nice the ball shoulders. joints there, yeah. Yeah. He can flex menacingly. There's one thing that the Play Arts Kai line does not come with, though, that I think we should point out, and that's that they do not come with a stand. No, they don't. And he is a little bit top heavy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's pretty. pretty well, he's beefy. so beefy up top. Yeah. yeah. But he, on the second, on, on the other hand, he can look, be positioned. Look, he's to, got a movable butt plate. A look, movable look, butt plate. Look, yeah, look, it moves. Do, 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 do. <laughs> he does. He has a flexing butt plate. Wow. Wow. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> Cheap at twice the price, man. Hey. <laughs> so however you pose his, his legs, he can hooch his butt joint to... He can move his tush to match. That's right. <laughs> All right, Cyborg Ninja. Thumbs up. <laughs> but yeah, he is a little bit top-heavy. So it'll take a little bit of shifting to get him to stand, but he will do it. He almost looks like, like he could throw down with Iron Man. He could, seriously. All right, so there we go. Cyborg Ninja. All right, Cyborg Ninja. Well, we had something pretty exciting happen a couple days ago. Yeah. And I went and saw the Yamato movie. Yeah. Yamato 2199. This is the first of seven parts. Mm -hmm. It's going to be, looks like, about every other month. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we saw part one, Harukanaru excellent. Tabidachi. And it was really, really, really well excellent. Yeah. It's just an hour long because it's like the first two episodes of what's going to be a 26-episode series. Mm -hmm. But they're showing them in only 10 theaters throughout all of Japan. Yeah. And uh, the, so they showed this chunk the first two episodes. And then after this, they're going to show them in four-episode chunks only in those 10 theaters. So we were there. Uh, the first day showing, which was only one show, had sold out instantly, so yeah. we didn't get there for that, but we yeah. were there the second day, mm -hmm. and uh, this was the program for that, and there was something a little bit exciting in there that we thought we would well, share with you. There was a lot you. of exciting stuff There was in here, a lot actually, of exciting but... stuff in here, but in the back they had some ads, and uh, we saw recently where there was an announcement of a... Up here, that's a it's an ad for the one five hundredth scale Yamato, mm -hmm. which came out a while ago. So mm -hmm. that's not new. Mm -hmm. But very recently, mm -hmm. uh, Bandai has announced that there will be a new one one thousandth scale space battleship Yamato. Wow! That's going to be made, you know, in celebration of mm -hmm. the new Yamato twenty one ninety nine. Mm -hmm. But here, right here, is where they say that they have decided that there will be more plastic models made go along with Yamato 2199. Yes. So we're hoping that there may be more other yeah. than the Yamato. Oh, yeah. Maybe there was Yuki Kaze. Cosmo Yuki Falcon. Kaze. Co yeah, the Cosmo Falcon they introduced in there. That is a really I neat... I was very impressed with that's that. That's a really neat yeah. aircraft. Yeah. It looks kind of like a Cosmo Tiger with a shorter wingspan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, that was cool. So, yeah, if we could... Absolutely. If we could see a Cosmo Tiger in there, or Cosmo Falcon, that'd be great. And uh, on the back of... They also talk about digital grade... Down here, digital grade uh, Yamato series of Gachapon. Oh, cool. Yeah, and I don't think we have announced that we're going to carry that yet, but I, I would hope that we would. That is coming out in June. Fantastic. Uh, this uh, series of Gachapon. Great. Uh, the Yamato, uh, they did not announce a date yet mm -hmm. on the 1 1000th Yamato, but okay. details should be up on that real soon. Great. And uh, this, was a, this was a clear file that they were selling there. And uh, so this is just kind of the some of the spacecraft that were introduced in this first chapter mm -hmm. of the first two episodes. And they said this clear file was limited to the first show. Oh, so great. Uh, maybe they're going to do a thing with different mecha oh, that'd be great. for each of the next of the seven wow. chapters that, that are shown. So anyway, there's Yuki Kaze. Yay. I'm so happy to see it. It was great. And I think we'll be seeing it again oh, boy. later on. So anyway, that's our Yamato news for today. And now we have questions. 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 We have questions. And here's a question <clears throat> from Riser188. And that is, do you girls think they will sell a funnel from Guilty Crown? Guilty Crown is an anime that just mm -hmm. recently started. Mm -hmm. And uh, what you think? Well, um, I don't think that there's going to be a figure of Funnel itself, actually, but... Um, not yet. Not, well, not yet that we've heard of. Um, however, in August, uh, Good Smile Company is going to be bringing out a Figma of Inori Yuzu, 
Yuzuri Ha from the show, and uh, she actually will come with a figure of the funnel. Ah. And in July, which is a month before August, they're going to be bringing out a Nendoroid of the same character who will mm. also come with a funnel, a, a Nendoroidized version, so it'll be very, very cute. Oh. So those are, and uh, if you look in our catalog, those the Figma and the Nendoroid both look really great. And uh, I, I understand that funnel is actually pretty similar to the Tachikoma in a lot of ways. Oh, yeah. interesting. Yeah, so, so we haven't heard about a funnel yet, but um, you will be able to get him, her, it with uh, Inori. So there you go. Cool. Well, we had, a, we had a question come in about, it wasn't so much a question as a comment mm -hmm. about the Tachikoma, where mm -hmm. episode before last we had the Ghost in the Shell special, mm -hmm. and I had that yellow Tachikoma. Mm -hmm. And uh, <coughs> Gargle commented and said, they made another big batch of Nendoroid Tachikomas late last year, so you don't need to feel too bad for Yellow there. He probably hasn't been there for five years. I had commented about, oh, mm -hmm. the poor thing, it's the first time we let him out in five uh -huh. years. Let me tell you a little bit about that episode. I had just gotten back from the States <laughs> from going to Alcon. You were a little jet-lagged. I was jet-lagged <laughs> out of my brain. And we thought Scott was going to be doing the episode with mm -hmm. the, with the um, I almost said Go Busters. Go Busters. Go Busters stuff, and yeah. And it's like, at the last minute, he couldn't do it. So it's like, quick, we have to go ahead with Ghost in the Shell. Oh, Tachikoma, yeah, 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 Tachikoma. I didn't even check to see. Yeah. But actually, uh, after Gargle's comment, I did go and look. And mm -hmm. that Tachikoma did come into stock September of, of last year. Okay. So this was from the re-release. Right. So thank you for pointing that out. Thank you. So I'm glad I didn't have to Yay. feel too bad for it for being out five years. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Maxim comments. He says, I have a question. Will you show us the 148th Metal Gear Rex, which I saw on your site recently? And Al, who mm -hmm. leaves us a lot of nice comments on HobbyLink.tv, which we mm -hmm. always enjoy reading. Yeah. Thank you, Al. Uh, Al says, I wouldn't mind seeing the 148th Metal Gear Rex being presented on the show myself. It looks pretty neat. Mm -hmm. Well, that Metal Gear Rex is coming out, a pal of yours, it's coming out in August. Uh, it's order oh. stock right now, but it is huge. Oh, really? It's like over a foot tall. Wow. It's this big monster machine, mm -hmm. and it lights up. It lights up. And the best part of all, it's uh, it's about forty thousand yen, forty thousand yen. Eek. So I don't know if they will let us take. It's coming from three A, which is going to be different from Square uh -huh. Enix oh, yeah. with these yeah. releases. But I don't know if they'll let us take one out of the package. But we'll see if we can. You know, we might be able to get one just in the box. To might show. be able to. Maybe. Yeah. So we'll see what we can do about. We'll see that. what we can do. So that'll be yeah. in August. Yeah. All right, and then we had one last question for this, and we have the others, but we'll save them for later, and that is from Mobile Suit 101. Hey, since you guys always feature new and recent figures, have you ever considered taking a look at older figures from maybe five or ten years ago? Now, the thing is, what we do is, you know, in our jobs, what we do is we... Oh, oh, down goes Cyborg Ninja. Killed Cyborg Ninja. Oh, he, he can't bear Sorry, the dude. tragedy of our jobs, which is <laughs> we see this river of things go by yeah. all the time. Stuff comes in, it goes out because people are buying it. All we do is write up the descriptions for it. Yeah. We rarely get to see stuff out of the box, which is what's neat about this show is yeah. we get to take some things out of the box. But usually we can't see them out of the box. And so we can just pick things out of the river, write it up for the online catalog for HLJ.com, and then... Back in the river it goes, and it goes off, it's sold. The only things we have from five to ten years ago are things that you or I may own. Yes. And so I don't know, frankly, how interested you guys out there would be in seeing anything from five to ten years ago that we actually own. You're welcome to make suggestions if you, you know, are curious about things from a certain series or a certain maker or something. Maybe you or I would have something from five or ten years ago. But otherwise, if it was just up to us, I mean, you'd be looking at stuff like this. It's like, yeah, ah. from exactly five years ago, it's Bo Bo Bo. Bo 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 Bo. Bo 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 From the TV show and manga, Bo 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 Bo. This was a figure that came out from Organic. Uh, in May of 20, 2007, and mm -hmm. I was all over this because this is awesome. Uh -huh. This is the best. <laughs> this is the best feature piece of Bo 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 Bo, Bo merchandise ever. Because I, I really like it's also the show. one of the only. Pieces it's also of one of the ever. only ones. Yeah, Romando had uh, announced a series of the figures, uh -huh. including Don Patch, who's my favorite, <laughs> Don and Patch. they never made it. Why is that? I don't know. I guess they got no orders. Why is that? <laughs> But Organic did bring out Bo 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 Bo. 
I hopped on them for full price, you know, when he came out. Look at this top of the box. How awesome is this? It caught Cyborg Ninja's, Ninja's attention. <laughs> it is the best. <laughs> but they're long gone. They're gone, you know. And so I like it. I own it from five years ago. But if you don't tell us what you want to see, you will see scary things like this. So if you really want to see older things, please let us know. And we'll do what we can. But in the meantime, mainly what we're here to show you is the newest, now, newest, nowest, coolest stuff. Stuff that you can own. That's right. And so here you go for this time with Cyborg Ninja, mm -hmm. uh, the Play Arts Kai, and Aegis. 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 Yeah. Predators Aegis. Uh, this was Persona uh, 3. From Alter. From Alter. Uh -huh. And that's, they're both excellent figures. Absolutely. And uh, check them out. So I think that's going to yeah. do it for this time. I think so. Um, so, you know, we do appreciate your watching. We always do. Please continue to leave us comments and questions on YouTube and on HobbyLink.tv. Yeah. We'll do our best to answer all the questions that you, that you give us. And we really appreciate, appreciate, appreciate you watching. Absolutely. Do. Talking is a challenge to <laughs> But thank you for watching. Thank you so much. And uh, I guess we will see you next, next time, time on Toy Tango Tangoku. Tango